everyone, welcome back to my channel. First things first, I do have a fan on and I'm really, 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 really hoping that it's not super, super loud. So it's not gonna affect the audio of the video. I am gonna be talking throughout, so I'm hoping you won't be able to hear it. But hello, I feel like it's been forever since I sat down and chatted with you guys. I feel I have been all over the shop over the past few weeks. So that's kind of why I wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me. I also wanna include my tanning routine in this because so many of you have been asking about my tan. One of the trips that I went on was with this tanning brand and I'm actually now really happy with my tanning routine. So I thought I would share it with you. Obviously, you can see I am nice and tan on my chest, but my face is not looking so good. As you guys know, you always used to call me out on the tan on my hands. But I have to say, I think, I think it looks all right now. I mean, obviously you're looking at my face and you're thinking, what? But they're not super dark and when my face matches, it's not so dark. And that's just because I found really great products. I've got a really good routine going on, which I'm finally happy with and it's not leaving me with like umpa lumpa hands. So yeah, I also wanted to include a little clip of me doing that. But first things first, before we get started, I'm not even sure what look that I'm gonna be doing. I think it's just gonna be like a really simple, kind of everyday glam look that I feel like you guys would appreciate because this video wasn't more like a makeup tutorial. It was more just kind of catching up with you guys. So I know it's probably really same, same, but let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do a colored look tutorial. Like I said, the purpose of this video is more just to catch up with you. So I'm not really too fussed about the look that I'm doing, but Anyway, before we jump into the video is post notification bell shout out time and this week it goes to Caitlin Taylor who says hashtag notification squad love you so much such an inspiration thank you so much Caitlin thank you guys so much for all the love and support constantly it never goes unnoticed but yes without further ado before we get started on the makeup let me talk to you about my tan So I didn't want to kind of do the application on camera in the sense that it's only a small part of this video and I am going to be posting it on my Instagram for you guys to watch. So I thought I would just insert the kind of video of me doing the tan here. So first things first, I've been loving using the coconut micellar water from U Tan and Tone and this actually gets rid of your tan. So first things first, I like to shower and kind of scrub off majority of my tan. But you know sometimes you just can't always scrub it off. This actually really works and is so good. You would have seen in the video when I wipe away, it does actually take off the tan. You just spray on the areas where you have that kind of patchy fake tan. Depending how much it is, you can just leave it for a few minutes or it kind of comes off instantly, either one. So I like to prep my skin using this. Then for moisturizer, I like to use the U Tan and Tone Blending Cream. This smells absolutely delicious. It smells really kind of like boy E and spa -y, and it really really works at keeping my skin hydrated and avoids kind of tan clinging to it so I apply it to all the dry areas like my hands Duh. my hands my ankles my knees my elbows that kind of thing and that just kind of helps to prep my skin as well and the mousse this is the U Tan and Tone Turbo Self Tan Mousse and it's in the shade After Dark I love this when I first received their products I had so many DMs from you guys saying that this stuff is insane it's such a gorgeous like golden olive undertone colored tan if that makes sense it's not too red it's not too orange I love the color of this and the application is so smooth and effortless I love this mousse this is literally like the only mousse that I've been using recently and I literally use it everywhere but not on my face as you can tell I don't really like to apply fake tan to my face but I will show you what I do use so finally what I use on the face is the coconut tanning water and it's a clear facial spritz to develop a gradual tan I do this like I take off my makeup and then I just spray this and I wake up with such a gorgeous glow. I'll just spray it now actually because it really leaves my skin feeling hydrated as well. Smells like coconut heaven. But yeah, that's the kind of tanning routine that I've been doing recently. I find that it lasts such a long time and when it fades, it fades really naturally as long as you'll keep moisturizing and stuff like that. I don't find that I get patchy super quickly or anything and it's also really easy to kind of scrub off when you do want to scrub it off and then do it again. I don't find that it clings to anywhere either and I really, really rate their products as well. And I'm actually doing a competition on my Instagram with them that would have gone up yesterday. So make sure to head 
head over to my Instagram to check out the details so you can win lifetime supply of their products as well. They have loads of unique products like those gummies. They're literally amazing. So definitely check them out. I've left the link down below. Right, I feel now we can move on to the makeup. I have linked everything that I'm using down below in the description. Ooh. I have left everything that I use in the description bar down below because I'm sure you'll be able to see what I'm picking up but the purpose of the video was just to catch up with you guys so the products aren't too too important unless I feel like I really want to talk about them so I feel like where should I start I don't think I've really sat down and spoken to you guys since all my traveling started so obviously initially I went to France with Yutan, which was so much fun and such a like, it just felt like a girl's holiday, you know, it was so good to see everyone and go on all those amazing experiences. It was a very like bougie holiday, which is quite different for me. I'm not that kind of person anyway. So it was nice to just kind of have those experiences and share them with you guys and be able to talk about those amazing products. And then, oh, after that trip, I just felt so ill. Belle thinks that she gave it to me somehow, like, because she was quite ill on that trip as well. But yeah, I was just so ill, and then I came back, and I was going to LA literally, like, two days after I got back, and God, that just put such a downer on it for me. I felt so ill. Every time I go to LA, I never get to go out, out, because something always stops me. Like, last time I went... Last time I went, I don't think I was 21 yet, so I couldn't go out anyway. And then this time I was just so ill and run down and I didn't want to make it worse because I was I knew that when I got back, I was again back for two days and then going to Marbella. That was going to be like party, 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 basically. So yeah, I was ill, but now I'm just feeling so much better. Actually, I did kind of talk to you guys about my trips and stuff in my PR haul that I just did, so... You can watch that video, but I feel like I haven't properly like sat down and spoke for ages. That was only quite brief. But yeah, then I got then I went to Marbella, which was so much fun. I got to take my best friend Chloe, which was really nice. She got to meet all of my like work friends, although I kind of class them as like my real friends too. But it was nice for her to see like the other side of me, I guess. And then finally, I've been back in the country, and I just got back from an amazing trip with Glam Glow. By the way, that. What I just put on was the Glam Glow Mega Illuminating Moisturiser in Sun Glow, which I only recently just got this and I'm obsessed with it already. And for primer, I just used the Ofra Cool as a Cucumber Primer because I saw Talia Ma talking about it on her Twitter and I knew I had it in my collection, so I thought, I'm gonna give that a go. Oh, crap. Well, I feel like so much has been happening. Like, I'm absolutely gutted about the football. I won't lie, I'm a big football fan and supporter so it was a real shame that we didn't get through to the finals but I feel like we did so well to get to the semis that it's that's not happened for the longest time and we definitely deserved it I did think we had it when we scored in like the first five minutes I was like oh, I was, oh my god this is it it is coming home everyone was saying it and I didn't really believe it and now I do but it was not meant to be to be fair, all the players on that pitch are like, our, our team was like so young, so gorgeous by the way, like I don't know what happened this time around, but there were some gorgeous, gorgeous players. Isn't there that guy that's like something loftus cheek? He is a sort. Pretty sure he's gone viral as well because he's so good looking and gained like so many followers on Instagram. But then also, Love Island's been fucking popping off, hasn't it? But I was away a lot of the time when it was on, but we still managed to watch it. But my opinions on everyone just change so quickly. It just goes to show, though, that, like, feelings and opinions, yeah, can be changed so quickly. And in that villa, it must be so difficult to, like, know what's real and what's not because it's ev everything's so intense and amplified in there. I, like, don't think I could do a show like that. I think I've said this before. But speaking of TV and stuff, by the way, that was the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, which I love. Also, trying, well, not trying, I love this already. I'm using the new Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Um, yeah, but speaking of TV, I think I really want to be on TV. Like, I was talking to my agent about it, and my, man my manager, sorry. And, like, every person, well, not every person, that I meet but so many people that I've met 
have said to me like, oh my god, you need your own show, you need to be on TV, you need to like, you just need to be doing, wow, I look weird, you need to be doing like something on TV. Now, my mum would absolutely wring my neck out if I went on anything like Love Island or... <laughs> something like that and I don't particularly want to go on anything like that either but I think I really want to do presenting I think I'd be quite good at presenting I don't know like I think that's a new venture that I would love to you know go into and stuff what do you guys think if I presented like a show on something like MTV or something would you find me funny would I be a good presenter let me know or give me your suggestions of what you think I should try and investigate and see because i've always loved being in front of the camera hence one of the reasons i started doing youtube you can ask my mum i used to film myself when i was younger and pretend i was like presenting the weather like i just used to love it i'd always tell her to turn the camera around and face me if she was filming i don't know like i just think that that's something i would love to do so stay tuned and i'll let you guys know if anything does come of it but yeah new venture for Rach. Also, while you're watching this, I will be at Lovebox Festival, which I am so excited for. I'm only going on the Friday, but Friday looks like the best day, let's be honest. Hopefully I would have seen a bunch of you. It'll be so nice to meet you. I love bumping into you guys at festivals and stuff. Everyone always looks so good. I literally don't know what to wear definitely it's something to be able to dance in because diplo is performing and i freaking love diplo gotta get my twerk on speaking of which i'm so surprised at like how many of you guys loved and watched my little twerking video on instagram i literally just did it for fun in the sense that i was actually just I was at the time just bopping around doing my lip gloss because I was listening to that song and I was just like mm, getting in like the feel of everything and I was like oh my god you know what? I bet everyone else everyone else does this or like has these moments and I always love doing funny things like that so I'm glad it went down well obviously I got the odd comment telling me that I was a slut and all of this and I was like I'm not doing it like on anyone I'm just like having fun on my own in my room like sorry if that makes me a hoe feel like some people just need to whoa <laughs> lighten up but now i'm just going to use the new huda powder this one's in the color banana bread and i've actually been really where's my brush really been loving this so i'm just going to bake with it Ooh. a little bit of bronzer and I've also been really loving my Kat Von D shade and light palette recently. I've literally fallen back in love with it. Just for a little chisel. Also, I just wanted to know, I really want you guys to interact with me and really do leave me suggestions and comments in the section down below of what videos you want to see. I'm definitely thinking of doing some collabs. So let me know in the comment section who you'd like to see me collab with i was speaking to imogen and i did say to her i really wanted to film like a mukbang to is it mukbang mukbang <laughs> whenever i say mukbang i think of monica bang in in friends but i was saying i really wanted to film one with her because when we are together we are actually a fucking like i don't know the funniest duo ever like Belle when we were on that u-tan trip was saying how funny we were and that we needed to film together so i do really want to film with imogen i love this by the way this is the iconic london that new glowing powder like same shawty um but yeah i also think i really want to film a video like my top five conspiracy theories that i believe in like i love conspiracy videos obviously shane dawson is the king of them and if you've never watched a shane dawson conspiracy theory video make sure that you do because they're so insane and that's where kind of where i've learned most of them from so i would love to do a video telling you like my top five that i believe in and like explain them to you so let me know if that's also something that you're interested in because obviously i know i am mainly a makeup channel but it's nice to hear your thoughts on what i should film as well i also was thinking of maybe doing like a hate comments choose my makeup tutorial type video which is where you go through the like 
filtered and like hate comments and everything that they're saying is wrong with your makeup you kind of like do it because obviously when I'm doing it I don't think that that's wrong so like if you're saying that I'm doing it wrong I'm gonna do it that way if that makes sense eh? so yeah let me know if all of these are sounding good to you or just like let me know in the comment section what video you'd like to see if I haven't already said it or like who you'd want me to collab with and if so what kind of video god I just love this highlighter Maybelline Molten Gold I love that but I am gonna go on with a little bit of this new one from Ofra it's called Star Island just on like the tops Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyebrows before we move on to the eyes. And yeah, I'm excited to do the eyes. I'm going to use the Revolution Reloaded Neutrals. But like I said, I'm just going to do like a quick, easy, everyday makeup look with some big lashes. And one of my new, well not my new, but it's like an old classic nude lip favorite combo that I think you guys will love. And I know a lot of people wear this, so I hope it satisfies your nude craving. So... Let's get these brows in check. Okay, I'm back. The brows are done. I just used my usual product. Yeah, now I'm going to use the Revolution Reloaded Neutrals palette. And I'm only really going to take like two of the colours. I'm not really wanting anything too dramatic on my eyes today. So just going to buff and buff in. God, sorry. You know when you just like remember that you were meant to do something? Oh. I would just have to get up super early tomorrow morning and do that. I've been really loving just like minimal matte eyes recently. I just think that they look so effortless. They're so quick and easy to do. And like my favorite thing and like what I not like take pride in, but just what really works for me is just being able to do something really quick and easy and minimal, but like, I don't know, like make it look like I make it look like I spend ages on it, if that makes sense. Like that's the goal. And I feel like that's what a lot of my looks do consist of. Very quick and easy, really doable. But don't get me wrong, I do love sat being sat there sometimes spending like hours on my face and getting really detailed in things, but for every day, a couple of shadows on the lid, big pair of lashes. Bob's your uncle. And the funny thing is, I did used to have an uncle called Bob. And then a tiny little bit of darkness here. And that's kind of like all I really want to do on the tops of my eyes. Obviously going to run a bit of like a nude brow underneath together. I just think that makes your eyes pop like out of your skull. It's mad. I'm just going to take that Ofra highlighter and highlight my inner corner such a pretty like light shimmer to highlight you in a corner with right and for lashes i'm going to be using the tatty lashes and mitchell collab they're so big and fluffy and fluttery let me zoom in and show you so they look like this so they're going to be like the added drama to this super simple makeup look so i'm going to go ahead and pop these on and then we can do the lips Okay, so the lashes are on, oh my god, obsessed with how like big and fluffy and fluttery they are, but now I'm going to do my favourite lip combo at the moment, so this is MAC Oak Pencil, look how tiny, I've literally used this to a T, so I'm going to go ahead and line my lips, like so, sorry, I've just, I've come to realise I can't talk and line my lips all at the same time, so I'm going to have to skip through that part sometimes. I'm now going to apply MAC Myth Lipstick. Now, this is literally one of my favourite lipsticks of all time, and I love this combination together. It does look kind of pale at first, but then we apply the magic ingredient, and it just looks bomb. So I'm going to pop this on as well. Like... So I know they're looking kind of scary and foundation-y, but then I go ahead and pop the Fenty Gloss Bomb on top, and it's literally just my favourite combination ever. Like, yes! I, I need a monster! We are all good to go! Let me just go ahead and spray with my iconic London spray. 
and we are done so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video a little Friday night viewing for you maybe while you're getting ready so we could have got ready together I really hope you guys enjoyed it definitely make sure to check out the UTAN products in the description down below if you're interested or on in the hunt for a really good tanning brand I would never recommend anything that I don't personally use and love and it's not even sponsored by them by the way I'm just I generally love their stuff and wanted to share it with you as I do get a lot of questions about it because I do love to tan as you guys know but yeah I would really appreciate all of your feedback from the questions that I asked throughout the video in the comments section down below Low and I'll be replying and loving all of them as much as I can but until the next video have an amazing night whenever you're watching this but obviously it's a Friday when I'm posting it so have an amazing Friday night and I'll see you on Sunday it's gonna be a clothing haul so I'll see you in the next video bye guys I know I'm, I know